Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 9. Take thou also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lint. Isn't that funny? This is the old Lisbon English. And English teachers will tell you, don't go and, 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 and. I'm going to do what the Bible tells me to do. And, 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 and. Now this is interesting because we got wheat and barley and beans and lentils. Beans is not lentils. Lentils is a... Because you'll find this, this is important. You'll find this with Esau and Jacob. And you'll find it with Daniel. Lentils is a kind of vegetarian stew without meat. And you would you can add beans to it. But look at the difference. Scripture is scripture. Mullet, it's a kind of grain. And fitches, a kind of grain. Now, it's interesting because I worked at a grocery store. I worked at a grocery store many years. As a stalker. And I'm, I was doing the cereal aisle. And I opened up this box. A brand new product. I know you on Facebook won't be able to see it. But they came out with a cereal called Ezekiel 4.9. Now I know the cereal didn't take after Ezekiel 4.9. In two ways. I'm going to read you. Facebook can't see it, but you can look online. I'm going to read to you the cover of Ezekiel 4 9, the serial. And describe in the Holy Scriptures quote, quote, Take also unto thee wheat and barley and beans and lentils and mullet and spilt. Oh, that really helps me a lot. Modern English. They can't even put the King James on their cereal part. Spill. I mean, finches and spill. What was that? Oh, Mom, I spilled the milk on the floor. I don't. So, I don't know what Bible is, but their Bible says spill. And put them in one vessel and make bread. Make what? If it tells you to make bread, why is this a cereal? They don't even know what cereal and bread is. So, again, the importance of the King James Bible. Back where I was. Get with the importance of the King James Bible still. Not King James. Throw it in a garbage can. Throw it in the incinerator. Now, okay, let's use a scripture with scripture if you don't know what you're talking about. Isaiah. Isaiah. Isaiah chapter 28. Twenty-seven, Isaiah twenty-eight, twenty-seven. Now you're not going to find this in the modern Bible because you know they didn't change this. So there still will not be what you find in Isaiah because Isaiah says, "For the finches are not threshed with a threshing instrument, neither the cartwheel turned over upon the coming." But the finches are beaten out with a staff. Right. Finches is a kind of wheat. In order to get the grain part of the wheat, you got to beat it. Now, it's interesting. Because if I go over here to... We'll look it up. Put me out of the way. We come over here and go Ezekiel.
4, verse 9. Okay, we'll do that search. We get the, we get the serial. And we'll hit the Bible Hub. But this thing about now, uh, Bible Gateway. Okay, Bible Gateway. We're going to look up Isaiah, I mean Ezekiel, four nine, and we'll find the first one. NIV says NIV, NIV has still S T E L T. Oh, that just helps me a lot. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to do. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Isaiah chapter 28, 27. And what we're going to do is we're going to look up all the English translations. We're going to find NIV, because that was wrong in another spot. NIV is wrong everywhere, but NIV. All right. Now you follow along with me. Ready? We're going to use the NIV. NIV says in Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 9, it says instead of finches, it says spill. Alright, let's do cross references. Ready? Now this is the NIV, Isaiah 28, 27, which Isaiah says finches. NIV. Dill is not crushed with a crushing object, and the wagon wheel is not rolled over the coma. But dill is beaten out with a stick and kind of with a. Wait a minute. Well, where am I going here? Where is the. Still. It's not dill. Dill is a herb. I have grown dill in my. Well, my wife has grown dill in the kitchen when she used to try to pickle cucumbers. And never did she with her dill, pick her dill and beat it, like Isaiah said. So we got something totally off the wall, now, and on Facebook, you got to come over and look at the video part. Way off the, the edge. Take your NIV and throw it in the garbage. Throw it in a fire. Make sure no one else will get it. Because it comes from fire. Hellfire. Get yourself a King James 16. I just saw they had muffins. I'm not going to go back to it, but they had muffins. But we're, we're going to read on. As soon as I get myself back together. So, they make a cereal. But it, oh, I'm in Isaiah. Slow. So, wheat, barley, beans, lentils, millet, finches, there's a cross reference in the Bible. And finches is done as the same manner of wheat and barley, not the same way, but in order to get the seed of the finch, you would have to break it like wheat and barley, okay? It's a grain. NIV didn't help us at all. Matter of fact, they made it work. It's not a dill. Their Bible's a dill. Put them in one vessel and make them bread. When you go to the store and buy Ezekiel 4 and 9, you're buying cereal. And then, or pastry muffins or whatever. That's not bread. So, their NIV's totally got you messed up. So, if you're going to read... Isaiah 4, 9, in your NIV, and you're going to read Ezekiel 4, 9, in your NIV, and read Isaiah in your, uh, in your uh, Isaiah 28, 27, in your NIV, and you got your cereal with your NIV, you don't know what you're talking about. Are you telling me that your NIV cereal is going to taste good with all this and dill?
Read the ingredients. I don't think there's any dill. Well, that's not what it's. I don't even remember what the word was. The word is finch. NIV doesn't even know what it is. And make bread thereof. According to the number of days that thou shalt lie upon thy side, the 390 days we, we talked about the other night, thou shalt eat it. So not only is Ezekiel hampered to, you got to lay on your left side a certain amount of days, and you got to lay on your right side a certain amount of days. Now you're going to have to eat your food by ration. A certain amount. And that meat, that doesn't mean, that always doesn't have to mean pork and beef and chicken. The meat offering was flour, which thou shalt eat by weight. Thou shalt eat thy, uh, it shall eat by weight. So Ezekiel is going to be put to a ration. And we'll see at what time period this is going to happen. 20 shekels a day, that would be about a pound. From time to time, thou shalt eat it. So this is not every single day. It's going to be by measure. And as time would allow him to eat it. Thou shalt drink also water by measure. A sixth part of a hen, that'd be any, anybody different, but it comes out to be about a pint. From time to time, again, thou shalt drink. You're going to drink your water, you're going to eat your food, not there from just... Here's a pint full of water, Ezekiel, and you can only drink it within this amount of time. And if you finish it, you it's like a military man going out on the field, he's given a canteen of water, He's given food in his knapsack. All right, you go out into the field, and if you finish it, you're done. Now, I heard that water is also not only for drinking, but it's also, you know, for brushing your teeth. Thou shalt eat it as barley cake. As barley, not barley cake, but you eat it as. Thou shalt bake it with dung that cometh out of man. That's poo kaka. Now that's not in the ingredients. That's the fuel. Manure. You're not even going to have enough trees and wood to burn. And the Lord said, Even thou, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I drive them. Now you remember when Jeremiah went into prison? He said, Give them what bread to the bread is gone. Here we are. Here's a period of time. Then said I, O oh Lord God, behold, my soul has not been polluted. For from my youth up even to now, I have not eaten of that which dieth itself. According to the law, if a, if a ox died in the field, he didn't use it for hamburger. If a deer died, he didn't use it for, for venison. Or is torn in pieces. A wild animal has come. And killed an animal, and I didn't use that meat. Neither came there abominable flesh, pork, lobster, clams, catfish. Into my Ezekiel followed the law. Why? Then he said to me, Lo, I have given the cow's dung from man's dung was defiled.
Can I tell you something? Come over here back to the cereal. Spilt. I was going to say, I forgot what it was now. Um, I hate when that happens. But there is among the sodomites who you think these good old happy people. I hope it comes back to me. Again. But one of their sexual practice you won't believe was actually eating each other's filth that comes out of them dumb which is an abomination not only is their sexual practices abomination but their diet And I, I forgot the name, but it, can't, but it comes awfully close to that, to what the NIV says. Scat. That's what it is. Scat. And they say, well, you know, my computer is now going slow. Spill. I'm not saying it's the same, but it's awfully the same. So, human dung is unclean. Cow dung. He said, I'm giving you cow dung for man's dung. That's funny because, you know, the Bible's not up to date. That's what you call biofuel. And actually today, Toyota has or is working on cars today that are actually using a form of cow dung as the fuel. It's called biofuel. Fuel. It took the scientists a little while to catch up with the Bible. What's going on here? Ezekiel has his meal of beans and barley and, and grain put into a pot, and he's got to cook it. But there's not enough wood. That's how bad it is in the land. And God's like, well, you got to use man's poop. And like Ezekiel's like, that's unclean, God. God's like, all right, I'll give you cow dung. Now shall prepare thy bread therewith. That's a that's a meal. Grain. That's all you get. And th there was no meat. I mean beef. Lamb. Nothing. It's a vegetable stew. And he don't even have enough resources of wood to heat it. And I think I remember the time that I was somewhere sometime that you can actually buy cow chips and you can use them, you know, for fire. This took men a little longer than God. More he said unto me, Son of man, Behold, I will break the staff of bread in Jerusalem. There's Jeremiah going into prison. We read in studying Jeremiah. And they shall eat bread by weight. They told, give Jeremiah bread until it's gone. With care. 
You're going to be very careful in what, what you've been given to eat. Because it's got to last. You are in a depression period, not of money. Of food. Now, America had the Great Depression of money, and there was food. Even Al Capone was said to operate a food kitchen for people to eat. The next depression is going to rely on there will be no food. And you're, what money you got, you, you're not going to eat it. You're going to try. And if you haven't looked at the food shelves, you haven't looked what's going on, they're getting awfully empty. And they're getting awfully costly. And they shall drink water by measure with astonishment. Astonishment. This is all I get. Here's a pint of water. Okay, that's good. That's for the whole family. What? Wait a minute. Jeremiah will talk about, or had talked about, study. You're going to have women who are going to eat their own babies. It's interesting because there's a particular expression in the Bible, not talking about now, but there's a particular expression in the Bible, you know, you're not supposed to say it in mixed company. Where he says they drink your own piss. Huh? That's coming up. I just read the other day there was a there was a woman and three children. They were marooned on an island or, or in a in a boat. And for her daughter, she drank her own urine. She ended up dying. She had nothing, nothing more, nothing. Only her own urine. And that didn't even keep her alive, from what little I read. Your modern American today, I don't know about the rest of the world, but your modern person today, they wouldn't know how to survive. They don't even know how to cook a meal. It's amazing how women don't know what to do with the kitchen. Their main thing is run to McDonald's, run to Burger King, run to KFC, run to a convenience store, run somewhere to get food prepared for. But when you run to the, the prepared place restaurant and there is no more food, what are you going to do? You can't go online and order it. I know I'm taking college classes right now. I'm taking ridiculous classes that have nothing to do with nothing. And, and the colleges are producing jellyfish. I remember when I was in junior high and I was in high school, I had to and must take home economics. That ought to be classes taken today in, in grammar school, in middle school, and high school, and in college rather than the stupid crap they're putting today. There are actually women today and there are Christian women today that would not know what to do with a kitchen. That's a shame. How are they going to know what to do when there is no food or limited food by weight? I guarantee these, these areas who have been hit by these, these hurricanes. You're not going to go run to the store and go buy food. There's no electricity. Your debit card ain't going to work. Your computer shut down. You can't order for them to come deliver to your door. And they go all run out and take stock in toilet paper. You ain't going to eat that. That they may want bread and water and be astounded one with another. Why? And consume away for their iniquity. 
All this is happening. All what we read in Jeremiah and all what we're going to read in Ezekiel is because of sin. We are right now, I don't know what other number it is, but we are up to hurricane, well, they say this weekend. We're going to have a hurricane named Sam in October. What's causing it? It's not global warming, Mr. Biden. United Nutch, it ain't the climate change. Al Gore, you need to shut up. You all need to repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus. Because all this is happening in the world because of iniquity. That's the reason. And you're not going to get a worldwide revival. That's not going to happen. Nope. 